Guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to get Nintendo DS emulator for all iOS 14 devices. There's no jailbreak or computer required. INDS is currently the most powerful one you can get, and you just download the NDS ROM, you extract it, and you just launch it directly. That's how simple it is, guys. If you want to learn how you can download this in less than two minutes, just simply watch this step by step till the very end of the video while I'll show you how you can get it. Okay guys, so right now there's no uh, Nintendo emulator installed in, in this device and all you have to do is just head over to your browser and go to the following site and right here scroll down till you find INDS and tap install. The version is 1.10.7 which is currently the latest one. Right here it is downloading the file so make sure you are on Wi-Fi in case you do not want to be wasting your 4G data. And right here is a very important step, guys. If it's the first time you are loading the appking.io site, it will take you to this human verification process. They have to ensure basically that you are not a bot and then your real user trying to access these tweaks or emulators. And all you have to do is choose two offers from the list uh, basically they're very simple for example this one says download install and then run it for 30 seconds to unlock so that's all we have to do guys these are from the official app store file is around 100 megabytes so make sure again you're on Wi-Fi and basically you have to wait till this one finishes downloading and just run it You'll notice this is from the official app store. The games, the applications are for free. You're not required to pay for any of these things or start any trials or things like that. You just download, open until it recognizes your, that you're a real user and that is it. The whole reason why the App King uh, site has decided to do this because there were a lot of bot requests lately coming into the site and basically the servers were going down. And in the very end, none of the users were able to access these emulators or applications and that is why they had it uh, they had to add this captcha measure but it's very simple it takes less than one minute to do basically 30 seconds for each app make sure you find the ones that says download and run for 30 seconds because it is much easier to do guys for example this harry potter one it's the easiest to do because it's a new application and it will guarantee uh, that you manage to unlock it okay so i'm done with this one so in this list let's just go down and try to find another one so if you read the unlock instructions there are some with other instructions like install open and then start planning like the home or whatever it asks but I, make sure you go for this one that says run for 30 seconds because as I said they're much easier to do because all you have to do is just run it the application for 30 seconds and if you do not see this game or the Harry Potter one uh, on your device it's nothing to panic about guys it simply means we are connected to a different app store because we are from different countries if there's other ones provided and shown on your device just do the ones that are shown for you. It is not a problem at all. Just complete two of them, guys, and you should be good to go. And once we finish with the second one also, uh, the INDS emulator should start installing in this device. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this device is not jailbroken. It's an iOS 14, which is the latest one. And basically, you do not need a computer to do this and you just download it straight from your mobile phone all you have to go first is through this verification which i admit it's a bit annoying but it is useful in order to prevent revokes in the future the good thing is that once you manage to do this one time you can get any app from tweak ninja that you like to download without having to do it again and let's say a new ios firmware comes up if you upgrade to the latest uh, the INDS or any emulator you download from this site will still remain with your device. So right here, we're, all, we're finished with the second one, guys. 
So all we have to do now is just go back here to this page, the lockedone.com, that's right here, and all we have to do is refresh it. And once we manage to refresh it, just go back to the home screen, guys, and you will see right here after the last two apps you just downloaded at the very end of the home screen, the INDS emulator. And just open it up right here, uh, click allow for the microphone, and the good thing is you can immediately add the ROMs directly from the search bar. You just search here, go to one of these pages and download it. But in order to show it to you, I have already downloaded one. So if you go to files, it should be on a .zip. Uh, if you download the ROM, it should be on a .zip format. So I usually like to use this application called unzip. And the this is a zip file, you just tap on it and it will extract it to this file that ends with .nds at the very end. So you just tap on it and tap on open in and find copy to INDS. And at the bottom you will see right here that the Pokemon has been added. So it's a Pokemon a hard gold game. You just tap like this and tap launch normally. And that's all you have to do, guys. This is one of the most powerful and most lightweight emulators you can get on your device. It's basically the best one out there. That's why I, because there's quite a few other emulators for the DS, but this is currently the best one, guys, as you saw how quick it is. So you can see right here that everything is functioning normally. And that is it guys. Thanks a lot for watching again. If you have any questions, just uh, comment down below and I'll try to help each one of you. And uh, have a good day.